Hey, hey, and welcome. I'm the Wurf. This is Wurf's Warehouse. Jason Werfel, Wurf's Warehouse on eBay, on Mercari, on Facebook. Sell things on the mer on the, uh, the old marketplace. I wanted to do a little sneak preview video. Diamond Kings, what we're on now. I rip a lot of baseball. We have a four-box break tonight that's live on YouTube at 10 o'clock. I'm going to post this as soon as I'm done. All the bobbleheads are on board. Sunburn, Doug Mirabelli's here. Poe is never really excited about it. But I want to do a little sneak peek. I've opened up quite a few of these boxes. I think they're pretty awesome, honestly. I'm a big fan of budget boxes in general. I'm a big fan of baseball. It's all I rip is baseball. Played baseball, spent 12 years in independent baseball. Going to talk a lot of nonsense. Going to say some funny stuff, maybe. Every single one of these boxes, what I like about them is you're going to get one auto. And you're going to get one memorabilia. It says find two, or two autos or memorabilia. Uh, per box on average every box that I've opened I've opened four or five now and I've gotten one of each so that's kind of what you can expect they also have two gray frame one plum frame parallels so looking for some rookie cards and that this is not just the rookie cards you get the parallels but I think it adds maybe a couple bucks of neatness to the value you got ultra rare short print inserts blank slate new blackout street art there's also some pretty cool one of ones that are possible you got Nolan Ryan uh, numbered cards in the Angels. You have, uh, I think, cool. There's a cool Papa Bell card hiding in there somewhere. I haven't looked on eBay to see if that one's been pulled yet. I don't know if that's one on one or not. It's definitely a numbered. There's no, unlike Bowman, there's no like out of four ninety nine. There's no out of three ninety nine, two ninety nine. It's ninety nine and below. So you're gonna get a ninety nine. It might pop out of fifty, out of twenty five, out of ten, a five or a one. But uh, still pretty cool cards. There's a lot of rookie auto patches. There's a lot of patch cards, memorabilia cards in general. And I've been really pumped with the cards that I've pulled out of this so far. So I'll show you the setup here and what you can expect. We have 12 cards per pack, I believe. Yep. Nope. Eight cards per pack, 12 packs per box. This is a Panini product, so it's unlicensed. But they do a pretty good job, I think, on this product doing kind of action shots. So that way you can't really see the kind of the airbrush. So you get cards stacked up in there like so. Penny, it seems like they do kind of the the offset in there a little bit. Kind of box the cards in so they don't slide around too much. I think they do a pretty good job of that in most of the boxes. Now, the one thing I say, if you're in a hobby, if you're in a hobby store and you grab these packs, you can. I've noticed you can really tell when you pick it up. It, there, while there is some spacers in there to kind of fake you out, the ones that have like the real thick, I'm talking like 130 point or 100 and uh, well, yeah, 130 point. I, I pulled one, I tried to put it into 108 and it doesn't fit, so it's like a solid 108 point patch. Uh, so Jordan Alvarez out of 25, you can really feel when you get those packs, even though they have spacers. I haven't read a lot of the words in the back, but the copywriters are, from what I've seen, almost as ridiculous as Bowman. I think Bowman's copywriter is still going to be the best. Pavin Smith rookie cars. We're also deep, uh, deep diving with the rookies a little bit in this, but you're still going to have some of the ones. What, what do we got here? Is that? Oh, no, that's just the artwork. I thought that was like a big bend through the phone. Smith is part of a growing group of former Cavaliers to charge into the bigs. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, copywriters. We can do a little better. Goldschmidt, Kiebert Ruiz. And so you're going to get these throwback cards. I'm interested, like, who gets the intellectual property? Is there some, is it the Sewell? The Sewell, uh, uh, Sewell, like the, uh, what would you call it? Uh, before Corey Seager, there was Sewell, the modern marvel, and the most recent lefty hitting shortstop to swat at least 40 doubles and bat 300 in a season. 2016. Well, Talking about Seeger was 2016. They made it sound like Sewell did that, which he did. They just didn't give you the year he did it. 56155. That's what's up. That was the years. What was he born? 1898. See, I was just born in the wrong era. I was I was 5'10 in the program. I was 180 pounds in the program. I probably got up there at some time. <laughs> Maybe. Joy Bart. And like they like to do in uh, Panini for some reason, I guess to make sure you know what you're getting. You got to flip it a million times. Jose Altuve. So the art of hitting is one of the parallels that you can get. And then you're going to have the debut Diamond King. So Alex Bohm is a rookie card that's nice in the set. Looking for an auto, you know, patch of his. So the one thing I don't like 
is in the in the debut Diamond Kings, there's no rookie card shield. Like, you get used to the rookie card shield, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, I wish it was on there. It's kind of like the guarantee on the box from Tommy Boy. I don't know why. And Josh Fleming. All right, so you can see, I don't know if, if you can go back. This is a significant difference between this pack and the last one. Now, let's see. Are they just deking us with a spacer? Or are we going to get uh, a patch auto out of this pack? I'm going to say it's a patch auto because I feel like I know. I feel like the spacer is not that thick. Uh, that's not a spacer. There's no way. That's a patch auto. It is. Sick. Here we go. Mickey Cochran. If you play What If Sports Sim Leagues, Mickey Cochran's got some excellent years. He was like one of the first three true outcome type of players. Luis Robert, hope he has a good recovery. Tore his hip flexor. Man, what a terrible injury. Keegan Aiken. Let's flip it for Spencer Howard. Brendan McKay. Oh, that is. Oh, I went fast. I thought there was one more card. Brendan McKay. That's a quad and a numbered. We got him out of 99, Brendan McKay, out of the University of Louisville. That is, that's that's probably a, that's probably 130. I don't think that's going to fit. And that's a pretty nice auto. I've been real happy. I mean, I feel like compared to, you know, the $1,500 basketball prison boxes, something like that, I got to get like the, I got the, the super fat penny sleeves waiting. Still kind of a pain in the butt. To try to slide them in there. Let's see. I got the big. I got the. I got the 108s. Is what I got sitting over here. To be ready. I don't think it's gonna fit. I think. I think these are actually 130s. I don't want to press it. Oh no. I think I can get it in there. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. I have a. Uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the Jordan Alvarez that I pulled. And I think it's because it's a patch. You know, it's out of a 25. And this one won't fit in there. It won't fit in that same. You can see that's significantly bigger. It won't fit into a 108 top loader. I tried a couple times and I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to damage the card. Uh, really nice. I don't know if you call that a double patch because this isn't really. A... I, I just got schooled by that in a Facebook group the other day talking about patch versus like a relic. So maybe that's, you know, you got like the quad relic. Here's four things. You don't know what part of the jersey they came from because the jersey's got in the picture doesn't match. That's kind of annoying. Not going to complain, though. He's a good player. He was a dual player in Louisville. Then they uh, they kept him as a pitcher in uh, in Tampa Bay Rays organization. He was up a couple years ago, and I, I, don't, I haven't looked. I'm not sure where he is right now. I don't think he's in the big leagues, but I think he's going he's gonna to be another really good one for uh, – the Rays. So that's going to be probably our big hit there. And like I said, you know, I'm sure the hobby shops won't let you touch the packs. <laughs> now that's obviously not, I'm not condoning that either, but you can really tell when you, when you have one of these really monster thick cards. Eddie Matthews, Jared Olivia, and the d d debut Diamond King. Drew Rasmussen. All right. See, this one feels feels pretty thick, too. This might be our other one. We'll see if I get deked. Like I said, the spacers, I feel like the spacers are like a 75-point spacer. I don't feel like they're like a – and and maybe that's maybe that's a little too much for me. Well, no, that looks – see, that one looks like a spacer to me from the side. We'll see what we got. All right. See, that's a spacer. So that's a little bit – I mean, you can tell. Like, that's – it's meant to mimic those relics, but I don't think I think the relics in this set are bigger than that. And uh, the A and G, the Allen and Ginter, some say Ginter. I don't even know. If, I don't even know how to say. It. Uh, you can definitely tell, or you can't tell. I mean, I think the relics there are the same exact size as the spacers. That's a Topps product, though. George Sisler, University of Michigan, go blue. Roberto Clemente, obviously one of the best ever. Andy Young, Chris Bryant, Jamani Jones. Freddie Freeman, aficionado. There's another one of your uh, Diamond Kings in general has a lot of this sort of like, uh, what would you call it? Uh, 
uh, well, looks like paintings. But I'm trying to think. There's like a like watercolors, something like that. I think it looks cool. I kind of dig it. Jimmy Fox, love Jimmy Fox's stat lines. It's like it doesn't seem like it's like video game stat lines. Walter Alston, I actually don't know who that is because Tom or uh, he was a very quiet, very controlled, legendary broadcaster. Vin Kelly. Oh, sorry. Wait, he was a very quiet, very controlled, legendary broadcaster. Vin Scully said of Alston. Oh, okay. Well, they didn't put any quotation marks around that beginning, so that's what threw me off. I didn't understand what was happening, what was happening there. Was, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Apologize for the English major in me coming out, but that doesn't seem like a real picky thing to put quotation marks around a quote in the back of a baseball card. This one feels really thin. They're not even, we're not even going to get a spacer in here, are we? Nope. Boy, I tell you, you could really talk about weighing packs. Um, which I don't condone, but Panini's got to be a little better at hiding it <laughs> if it's going to be that obvious. Machado, there's a gallery. There you go. It's like someone smashed the paint, but it looks pretty cool, I think. I like it. Obviously, Kuna Jr. is one of the he, – he has a chance to be one of the best of the generation here. Christian Javier is a good-looking rookie. I think he's going to be a good player too. I'm really high on Brady Singer. I know a lot of people – a lot of people are down on just like, uh, you know, trying to collect pitchers. I think you can flip them. I think pitchers probably even more than position players, although both of them right now, like everything is so emotional, like the stock market. You just you collect the guys. You just watch the highlights. You see hit home runs tonight. You list that card for 20 bucks, and you might sell one. Uh, same thing for pitchers. You throw a no-hitter, all of a sudden, you know, or even the opposite. You get a guy like uh, Lucas Giolito, for example. A guy throws a perfect game has pheno a couple of phenomenal years and then once you know not on tv that much and all of a sudden he's not getting the the press there he is that called it oh that's some clairvoyance right there tony gwynn swing with a knob juan soto shane bieber that's pretty cool isn't it watercolors is that what it's up it looks like uh artist palette it looks like a. Uh, it looks like the artist palette a little bob ross style Need to get Bob uh, Matagrill. Kramer. Matagrill is a, it's a good one. It's going to be a real interesting player because he's like he's like David Eckstein except better at everything. <laughs> everything that Eckstein did. Well, maybe, except maybe winning. We'll see, you know. Like, you got to win. Obviously, be called David Eckstein first. Oliveris. Harvey Kuhn. I actually don't know who that is, which is weird because he's a tiger. I think I know. Jorge Mateo, Joe Jackson, pretty cool card. All right, this one's backwards. Let's see what's up. There you go. Well, there's your, there is your frame. That's a gray frame. So you get two grays and one plum in these packs. There's the club. Debut Diamond Kings on Matagrill. George Brett in the end. Let's see a Mount Castle on the back. Uh, this is going to be a spacer. Garrett Crochet, Walker Bueller, Ryan Jeffers, Mickey Mantle, William Contreras, Anthony Rizzo, Artist Palette. Cool looking cards. Tyler Stevenson, Ryan Mountcastle. I'll tell you what. You didn't hear it here first. I'm sure there's other people talking about this. Probably not that obvious, but I was uh, doing my homework today on the top 30 prospects in the Baltimore Orioles organization, and they have a lot to be excited about, especially in the top five or so. Let's see what we get here. Oh, here we go. Here's our other patch. for the, Here's our hit for the box. Here we go. We've got Yelich, Jesus Sanchez, Pete Rose, Shane McClanahan, Buster Posey. All right. So I already had an auto, so I'm going to guess this is not an auto. Jersey Kings. Nice. Not sure what Jersey Kings is going to be another subset of the uh, your relics. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking cards. And you can see they do a pretty good job, like, uh, catching the guys in a stance where when they have to uh, airbrush off the name of the team, 
you don't see it as much. You can, you, you'll notice it on the helmet, but otherwise uh, you're not going to notice it too much. You see it says San Francisco and not the Giants on there because of the unlicensed product. So I think that Panini has done a pretty good job of catching up on. Let's see if this guy will fit in 55. Yeah, pretty tight. So I got some 55s and I got the I got the super thicks here. That makes it, yep. Nice and easy. Started getting 55s for a lot of like the chromes and stuff because man, the 35s, I don't like it. I don't like it. It feels like I'm jamming the cards in there. I feel like I'm going to damage some corners, some edges. It's a little bit a little bit, it's a lot of bit more expensive, but it's worth I think. Pooh holes. There's your uh, debut for Tyler Stevenson. Cal Ripken. So those are the two hits here in this box. So a few packs left. Maybe anticlimactic. But uh, we'll see. You never know. It says on average, might be able to get another hit. But it's kind of ringing true right now. You're kind of going to get one auto. You're going to get one uh, relic per box. Uh, Cobb, Cabrera. Braylon Marquez, but there's still two uh, Kohei Arihara. I think I said that right. Anthony Rizzo. We're still going to get one more gray border. Elegance. Nolan Arando. Al Kaline. Go Tags. And the Christian Pache debut. So uh, there should be two more frames. One more gray, one plum. Those are hobby exclusives. So. Uh, because retail's always bought up, I guess I don't even know if there. I guess I mean that makes sense that there is some retail of this if it says hobby exclusive. Since everything's bought up, like I don't even bother. I don't even bother trying to keep up. Kirloff, I think he's going to figure it out. I think he's going to end up being in the hunt this year for uh, rookie of the year. I think. We shall see though, because the team's not doing very good. Judge, Ian Anderson, I'm real big on. Vado, here's going to be probably what we got. What we got here? We're stuck together. I got Trevor Huffman on the back. Should be... Uh, okay, so there's your plum. Max, Matt Chapman. I think he's a real... Uh, he's a real buy low guy. Since he was... Sometimes hard to see through my camera here when I'm trying to put stuff into the sleeve. I think he's a buy low guy. The A's are looking like they're going to make the playoffs, and I think he'll do some things in the playoffs. His cards will shoot up a little bit. Probably got a good shot to get 20 or 30 percent on that. 20, 30 percent bump, I mean. If you invest in him kind of right now, I'm going to guess. I mean, look, I'm going to guess his cards, you can probably get below 50 bucks, even PSA cards. Um, I think he's probably not having that great of a year, but he's a good player. You know, he missed a lot. He's probably a spacer. Yep. All right. Garrett, Ruth, Carlson. That's a good rookie. Hornsby, Ramirez. Jordan Alvarez is our artist palette. Dylan Carlson, debut. Max Scherzer. So in terms of base and parallel cards, with a decent amount of cards, you know, eight pack or eight, eight per pack, 12 per box, 96 cards, you're hitting on the base side, all, you're probably going to be hitting a lot of the rookies that you want to see. You're going to get some nice parallels. See, there's Dahlbeck kind of hitting all the, all the guys you kind of want. Bellinger. That are gonna they're gonna probably gonna fetch a buck or two at least right now probably three or four in the next few years. Robinson, Brandon Lowe, Altuve is our final frame. Obviously, you're hoping for the frames to be some of those rookies. The one guy I haven't got so far that I kind of always looking for is Chisholm. I like Chisholm a lot from the Marlins. Gallery of Stars, Jimmy Fox. Last two cards, Matt Chapman and Kyle Lewis. So there you have it. There is our debut. So you got the cool uh, Brendan McKay out of 99. We got the nice Buster Posey. Oh, he fell down. Sorry, Buster. Didn't see that happen. And all the bobbleheads like it. And uh, we're going to be breaking four boxes. That auction has already come and gone. But every Sunday, we're doing more. So we're going to do four more boxes next Sunday. I have a couple cases of these. So kind of up in the air if I'm going to rip what's left or just kind of do it for the next few weeks. I don't like to bore anybody about doing the same breaks every week, but I'm also going to do budget uh, box breaks on Saturday nights now. So just one box, start them out at 99 cents, maybe uh, depending on the box. 
you know, I, I turn it up kind of over the course of the, the week. Uh, that way, if some of them don't sell, at least there might be some chances, some hits that, I, you know, that I could sell to cover the costs. I'm really just trying to build the community, have some fun, yak about baseball, and then hopefully uh, you dig what we do and you come back and you buy something else from us. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.